Mulan is finally coming to physical media, but with one notable exception. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my media and vlogging channel. Thank you for joining us. If you happen to like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. We upload, not super frequently, but hey, the more we get, the more we'll upload, the more content everyone gets. Everyone's super happy at that point. So anyway, um, Mulan. I have not seen the new Mulan yet. I, I was not gonna support the Disney premiere plus that Disney tried to shove down our throats. And if you look at what's going on with Disney, something tells me it wasn't a big success. Never mind the fact that it didn't stay an exclusive to Disney Plus for long. Never mind the fact that Soul is not being released as a Premiere Plus title. Uh, the fact that Disney CEO Bob Chapek is mum on the Mulan streaming numbers means that it probably wasn't a success. Now, he did tease future PVOD movie releases, so that would seem to contradict that it was a f anything but a success, but keep in mind, he won't tell you how much money it made, and here's the thing, the whole point of the stockholder meeting was to put a positive spin on earnings, Disney lost a lot of money, but the Disney Plus numbers are strong, so... He's saying, hey, yeah, we might do this again because that's what investors want to hear. But the fact that he's not talking about the numbers should tell you everything you need to know. And, of course, there were no actual Premiere Plus releases announced. Uh, my, my belief of this thing, I think it lost a lot of money. I believe even if it made $250 million on digital rentals, the thing to keep in mind is... As some, I know I have friends who work at Apple, who work at the Apple store, and they laughed and said that's not the good news people think it is because two to three hundred million dollars in digital sales and rentals is actually pretty average for a Disney movie. It's in fact usually much higher than that, especially if you have a really popular one that people really loved in theaters. However, we're not here to talk about that today that's normally what i say for my other site the failed journalist you can head over and subscribe to it as well but the news has hit that mulan has officially been announced for physical media so here it is at zavi and there's a reason we're looking at the zavi so what they have is they have mulan coming out on dvd i don't know why that's still a thing but apparently it is um blu-ray then we have the ultra 4k plus blu-ray interestingly no digital copy uh, and you have the 4K HD. In fact, this is a steel book. This is an exclusive steel book. So, and this is the regular edition. And you have a steel book of the original anime movie, which has been sold out for a long time. Now, you might be noticing something that's missing. If not, although my blog readers, where I'm going to share this video, probably will, it's that Mulan does not appear to be coming out on Blu ray 3D. Now, of course, this movie was advertised as coming out in 3D and in IMAX 3D nonetheless. So we know a 3D version does exist. And considering the fact that the movie was delayed like one week before the movie was out, I don't think you could realistically say the 3D version wasn't finished and they just don't have one. So let's go to Blu-ray.com. This is where I go to get a lot of information on Blu-ray releases, not only locally but worldwide. And you have Blu-ray, Movies 4K. What you want to do is you want to select 3D. Then... It usually defaults to United States or whatever country you're from. Go to all countries. And then let's do Mulan. There's one release for Mulan 3D 2020 from Europe, but there's no release date. Now, that isn't always... That doesn't mean that a movie's coming out. In fact, if you search Trolls uh, oops, sorry, in 3D, there's a regular Trolls 3D. There's It says more info, but I couldn't find find it what would be another good example i know the nut crack cracker in 3d uh well you don't see any of the nutcracker in the four realms can you just do that and no nope, nutcracker fantasy that's an interesting one one uh let's see here. i know um captain underpants first epic movie See, there's a listing for Captain Underpants, the first epic movie 3D. In America, no release date. This listing's been here for I don't know how long, and we're clearly never going to get that. But 
c'est la vie. So anyway, the whole point of this news story is unfortunately it looks like the 3D version of Mulan is going to be a lost 3D movie. I don't expect Disney to ever release it at this point. And I shouldn't be too surprised. The 3D format is still dying. And Disney's been a little bit more coy about what they release in Blu-ray 3D. Typically, the only movies that are safe getting released in 3D from Disney overseas are Pixar and Marvel movies. And uh, in fact, Wreck-It Ralph 2, let's go back to... Um, to the site real quick um ralph breaks the internet like even that um it doesn't have a 3d release anywhere except in japan where it comes packed with a 4k so for those of you who wanted to look for ralph breaks the internet in 3d you got to import it from japan and you have to get a 4k ultra hd and of course you got to have a region free blu-ray 3d player which i do have so even the Disney movies are not safe from not getting a 3D release. Now, I know a lot of people, they say 3D is a dead format, but you know what? I'm a fan of 3D, and there's a lot of people who are fans of 3Ds. And we're such big fans that we'll do crazy things like keep the PlayStation 4, even though we're getting the PlayStation 5, because the PS4 actually will stream our 3D movies from Vudu. And we'll keep old older TVs with 3D capabilities somewhere because we still want to watch Avatar and How to Train Your Dragon 3D and hopefully they will figure out the glasses free 3D at some point and then 3D TVs can come back and hope with all these formats they should be format agnostic but anyway if you wanted to see Mulan in 3D I guess uh, you're not going to I will now probably not buy Mulan I see no reason to buy Mulan I'll just stream it on Disney Plus for free and if they ever release a 3D copy okay I guess I'll buy it then um, until then I guess I'm just not going to see uh, move on. But anyway, I would like to know what you think about this. Is this news disappointing to you? I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.